Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at an advanced way of adding film grain inside of DaVinci Resolve. So without further ado, let's hop in and get started. You can see in my media page here, I've already got one clip selected and imported. It's looking great there. And then I've got my medium grain clean that I want to import that I got from Gorilla Grain. They're great guys, and you should go check them out and, you know, buy their stuff. So in order to import this, what you normally do is double click or click and drag. But to do what we're trying to do in this one, you actually have to do is right click and do add as matte. And this you'll see it gets a different icon and it's treated differently and you'll see what happens later on. So we'll hop over to our color page where I've already got my clip loaded into a timeline. You can see playing through there, the snow apocalypse in Nashville. So what we're going to do to add this is just click on any node, right click, add matte, track mats. You see you get medium grain clean. So now we're part of the way there. We've got our external mat loaded into our node viewer. What we want to do is delete that connection there and then right click, add node layer mixer, add one input for good measure and drag this in line in our node tree and then take the output of our external mat, not any of the mat outputs, but the image output and drop that into our layer mixer. And now you can see, we can see our grain inside of our timeline. It's looking great, but you know, we can't see the snow apocalypse anymore. So what you're going to do next is right click on your layer mixer and go to composite mode and choose whichever composite mode you want. I normally use either overlay or multiply, but you can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to do multiply for this clip just because it gives it that dark, gritty, post-apocalyptic look. So I'll go full screen here and you can see all of this wonderful film grain going on here. It really gives your shot a different vibe and I like it a lot. If you don't like film grain, then you don't have to do this, but I happen to really like film grain a lot. So I'm going to be doing this all the time, I'm sure. And the benefit of doing it this way, as opposed to the way that I've mentioned in a previous tutorial, is you can now export as clips and do individual clips, and it'll keep your film grain added into your grade. So I know that some of you out there have been wanting that, and now you have it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, be sure to give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your comments down in the comments below, because that's always a lot of fun to read. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more Meester Media stuff, we've got links for social media down in the description below. We've got Facebook, Twitter, and a website. On that website, you can download a few different power grades and some other nicks and knacks for free. And while you're on your various social platforms, be sure to share this video with your friends so they can see how to add film grain to their footage and make it just that little bit extra gritty, cool, hipster chic that I'm sure they've all been wanting. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you had a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.